Yo, what is up everybody? It's your man Pudding and today I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of some tips on how to rank up fast. First, I'm gonna give two classes that are easily accessible when you are low levels that I find are really good. Anyways, I will start off with this one. This is what I call a support class because I tend not to go up front with it and I tend to stand kind of like close to the middle and back end of the map and I choose the type 25 because it is a good gun you get it really I'm pretty sure you have it unlocked when you start I'm actually not sure I'm still getting used to the game but anyways you get this gun really easily and for the attachments I put the quick draw and foregrip because these are both really useful the quick draw will help you aim down your sights faster and foregrip reduces the recoil of your gun and for the perks, I took Hardline, Fast Hands, and Dexterity. Hardline to get my score streaks a lot faster. Fast Hands basically to throw my grenades and concussions faster. And Dexterity to aim faster after sprinting. And I just choose the simple grenade and two concussions. And for the secondary, this is kind of like whatever you want to put in, you can. I choose the FHJ 18 AA because I this is my support class so I like to support my team by taking out the enemy kill streaks and my second class here is my rushing class it is the PDW 57 once again with the foregrip but this time I switched it to fast mag because this class is more of a like well as it's called it's rushing you're gonna be up front you're gonna be running around and you need to reload this gun really quick and it's actually a very good gun and my secondary is the TAC 45 which is a very good pistol I have not used it but I have been killed by this gun so many times and it is very frustrating to see and it is very powerful and once again I almost have the same perk setup I have a hard line toughness and dexterity once again toughness will basically just stop me from flinching when I'm getting shot so that allows me to be more stable so I can get the shot on my opponent and hopefully get the kill and for my lethal and tactical I have changed it I have picked the bouncing Betty because I really do like it I love it and I find it is very good for getting kills and stopping the enemy and for my tactical I choose two shock charges because if I'm rushing with this class and I feel like holding down an area of the map that is pretty close to the enemy spawn I would like to have a bouncing Betty behind me and a shock charge with it so if anyone tries to flank me I will be ready to turn around and kill them anyways enough of my classes I'm gonna go down to my score streaks and here I'm using the UAV hunter killer and the Hellstorm Missile and these are really good if you want to level up but if you want you can change the Hellstorm Missile to a care package and so far what I noticed about the care packages in this game is that they are extremely good they take I think it's 550 yeah 550 points to get it and you usually get anything over what it is I find it rare to get a UAV I find hunter killers are actually pretty common, but those are alright. But I usually get the War Machine, the Orbital VSAT, and the AGR out of my care packages. So that makes them really useful. And third thing is the matches. If you want to level up, playing something like... Oh, where is it? Kill Confirmed and Hardpoint. Those are two great games for leveling up if you're playing the objective. If you're just camping in a corner and you're getting that odd kill every minute or two, you will not be leveling up quick. Hard point, you need to be capturing those positions to level up quick because they give you a lot of points. And kill confirmed, collect those tags and you will be leveling up really quick. And for kill confirmed, when you collect a tag, it also goes to your score streak, which is really good. And anyway, oh yeah, one more thing. The bonus maps, I find these are really good because it's all small maps so you can actually get to your enemy a lot quicker which makes leveling up really easy I find and I love the I love those those are probably my favorite things to play but anyways that's it for today guys 
I hope you found this video useful and I hope a lot of you guys decide to follow and subscribe to us. We will be bringing you guys some more and more videos each week. Anyways, thanks you guys for watching. Peace out.